Morning ladies, I'm just going to do section two of the yin yoga class. So the first one I shared with you has got totally different postures to what I'm going to do now and share with you. So just gently get hold of your bolsters. If you don't have a bolster, get hold of two pillows or cushions from your couch. If you have blocks or straps, but preferably probably cushions would be better. So just gently when you're ready, come down onto the mat with your cushions. soles of your feet together we just want to lie in this position first just to connect the body and the breath so just gently have the pillow or your bolster down the center of your mat so it comes to line the length of your spine your head is resting on your pillow or your bolster soles of your feet together knees open palms facing up gently it's a gentle back bend so we're opening your heart chakra opening your chest which helps you with your breathing and gently opening your hip area because we brought the soles of the feet together. Palms facing up. Gently close your eyes. Focusing on the breath in and out of the nose only into your belly. So we lie here for three minutes. So we're just starting off in this position before we get into the yin yoga class. So just gently closing your eyes. Focusing on the breath. And with every exhalation, just letting go. Releasing, surrendering, or letting go of anything that doesn't serve you, anything you're holding on to, any tension or stress in the body, releasing it down to the earth below you. And just breathing in positivity, renewed energy, renewed strength.
with Nava for about three minutes. So this class is specifically working with the hips where we carry a lot of our tension as women. So we just want to gently release. A lot of work we're going to be doing now is just releasing in the hips. So you just want to gently come up, remove your bolster. If you feel you've got maybe a bit of tightness in your lower back, gently hug your knees and arms around your knees. One hand around each other and draw your knees in. Otherwise, you just place your hands on your knees and draw your knees in. So let's just take five to eight slow breaths here before we carry on. And very gently coming up. So the, the postures we're doing in this yin yoga class we didn't do in the first yin yoga video. This is totally separate. So we gently want to come to sit on the mat, preferably sideways. Gently bring your right foot to the side of your left thigh. And you can get hold of your bolster. This is where it's quite nice to use the bolster or you can use cushions. So maybe if you don't have a cushion or bolster, you can maybe just place your just to give you a variation. Place your head on like this and stay like that or you can bring the cushion onto your knee and then we're gently going to, you want to push this knee down, square your body to your left foot, your chest is facing, you're gently going to come down, we're going to stay up for five minutes, you'll feel how it just releases your hamstring, the back of the knee, your calves, you might feel your lower back or your upper back area, shoulder area. The longer we stay in this posture, the more it releases. You'll gently feel how your head is up here, but eventually my head will be down on the bolster. So we're going to stay here for five minutes to release the fascia, because that's what yin yoga is all about. So gently relaxing down.
So you can also, if you don't want to have the cushion or the bolster, bring your hands down and then your elbows down onto the mat. So we just want to gently release. Hopefully you felt a bit of a release after about two minutes. Very gently coming up. So we just want to repeat the half butterfly on the opposite side. So it really works very well. So gently coming to bring your left foot to the inside of your right thigh. And again, either getting hold of your cushion or your pillows. Or if you've got a block, you can place a block. Put your arms down. So that's another way of doing a block on your thigh. Hands down on the side. Otherwise, we just gently use your bolster. If you've got a bolster or two cushions, gently push this knee down. We're going to stay here for two minutes. Usually, I remove the cushion after two minutes or two and a half, three, and then I just relax down over my thigh. So, just gently getting into the half butterfly for five minutes.
gently come in. They should be about five minutes. So now we just gently, so we've done the dragonfly, and we've done the, sorry, half butterfly on both sides. Now we want to do the dragonfly. So you just want to gently bring your legs into a wide V. And again, here you can use a cushion with men. Men will usually lie with their legs up to the side and put their legs in and bring the bolster and place it on the head and maybe just stand like that. You flex into your feet. For a few breaths, just to open up both your hips, so it's an outward rotation, you're working your inner and your outer thigh muscles, or you can bring your cushion or your bolsters in front. You slightly want to sit forward. You can either just place your elbows on your bolster or your cushions, if you've got your cushions, or if you can't reach with your uh, elbows, maybe you just want to place your hands, you want to sit slightly forward. So if you don't want to use your bolster, place your elbows down on there, you can gently just bring your elbows down onto the mat. We're going to stay here for at least five minutes. So gently coming down to do the butterfly. Sorry, the um, dragon. So we're just going to breathe into this for five minutes.
So just very gently coming up. So we've been there for five minutes. So you'll definitely feel the longer you hold it, how it works. Your inner thigh muscles, your outer thigh muscles, your hamstrings, the back of your knees, how it really pulls in your calves and maybe into your feet. Let's just take one or two breaths. Sitting with a straight back, draw your belly in, slightly relax your shoulders. Just taking five breaths just to open the chest after we've been forward. Otherwise, you might want to interlace your hands behind your back. Roll your shoulder blades in towards each other and stretch back into your interlaced hands behind your back. Let's hold for five breaths. Feel your sitting bones beneath you. Lengthen up into the crown of your head, holding four more breaths. And then we can just gently spring your arms up into a wide V. Five breaths just to open the chest. Work your upper shoulders, your upper body, your lymphatic system, really stretching up arms in a wide V, drawing the belly in so you want to have a slightly straight back, you're holding four more breaths. And gently just releasing. Well done, everybody. So it was quite intense. That's a deep stretch into your stretch, I should say, into your fascia. So the next posture we're going to do is called the dragon. So what we're going to do is you gently going to bring your right foot forward, your back knee at a 45 degree angle. So what you can do is just gently straighten your back knee, back leg I should say, gently bring your back knee down at a 45 degree angle, have your back foot flat in line with your ankle and then if, you, if you've got ligament ankle ligament problems or ankle problems or anything wrong with your foot, don't do this posture. Maybe what you can do is just keep your knee above your ankle, bring your hands below your shoulders and you can stay here for five minutes, maybe just feeding the, the, the left hip flexor because that's what we want to work. Or you can bring your arms to the inside of your foot and stay here for five minutes. Or you can bring your right hand and place it on the inside of your right knee slightly turn your body towards the right wall stay there okay so those are the three options you can do if you've got problems there but if you haven't got problems with your ankle or your knee then what we do is we just gently bring your right side of your foot down onto the mat bring your right knee away from you slightly push back push the right knee down and we're going to stay here we'll just stay here for three minutes because i want to do it on both sides You'll feel a deep stretch in the ankle. So we're going to stay here for at least three minutes. Feel how the hip slowly also releases. Your hands are just below your shoulders. If you want to, you can just gently place your right hand on your right knee if you wanted to maybe work deeper or just keep your hands on your shoulders. And just remember, if you're a beginner, you rather keep the foot straight, hand below your shoulders. Otherwise, we just stay in this position. Oopsie, falling over. If you feel more flexible, you can maybe go down lower. If you're more flexible,
or you just sit with your hands below your shoulders or your right hand on the outside of your right knee. So just going to where you are comfortable. This posture is actually just preparing us for the next posture, which is your swan posture. So we can gently bring your foot up straight. So what we're going to do now is, again, only do this posture if you haven't got um, major problems with your knee. If you haven't got problems with your knee, don't do this posture. So if you, have, if you haven't got problems with your knee, you walk your foot across, your right foot across to the outside of your left wrist. And then gently bring the knee down. And then you slide your left thigh back. Good. So just sliding your left thigh back, bringing your right knee down. Good. And we just stay here. So this is called the swan when you sit up like this. So you can stay here for three minutes or five minutes. This is called the sleeping swan. If you prefer to come down and lie here, that's called the sleeping swan. So whichever you prefer, I'll do two minutes in the sleeping swan and then I'll sit up. So I'm just gently going to come down and relax. Again, if you if you can't reach the floor with your elbows or your head, you know you can always use your cushions or your bolsters. So if you can't come down, then maybe just bring your elbows onto the cushion or bring your head down onto the cushion like that. So whichever you prefer. I just want to make a mention, if your right butt doesn't reach the, the mat, you can place a cushion under your right cheekbone if it's sitting up off the floor, if it's not flat on the mat like mine, then just place a cushion or a pillow under your right uh, butt just to help you even your hips, so to speak. So it's almost been two minutes of lying down, so then I'll just come up into the swan posture. So the sleeping swan is when you bring your forehead and your arms down. So if you just bring your hands slightly and forward with you, we're just going to sit here for two minutes. So it would be four minutes by the time we've done two on the sleeping. So almost trying to keep your hips square to the top of the mat and just staying here for two minutes. So just breathing into this, slightly lengthening up into the crown of your head, slightly pushing your chest up and forward.
you feel an immense deep stretch and opening in your right hip. And you might even feel the stretch in your left thigh. You want to just take it up a bit just to work it straight. You can gently bring your left hand around your left foot and draw the net. Just stay here for one minute. Or you can actually flex your foot, whichever you prefer. Flexing actually works it more. Quite an intense stretch, gently bringing your leg down. Okay, now we just want to gently repeat on the opposite side. So just very gently bring your hands below your shoulders, knees under your hips, walk your left foot forward. And again, if you're a beginner, keep your left knee above your left ankle, hands below your shoulders. You gently want to straighten the right back leg, push back into the heel. This also stretches your hip flexor. Gently bring your knee down, back foot at a 45 degree angle. So begin a posture and never keep your knee above your ankle and you just stay here. Breathing into this or you can bring your hands, both your hands to the inside of that left foot. Slightly push the knee away from you, but so either, that's the beginner posture. And remember, just because if you've been practicing for longer, you want to bring the side of your foot down onto the mat. So gently bring in the side of the foot down onto, you can't really see it. Bring the side of the foot down onto the mat and we're going to stay here and breathe into this for two minutes. Remember, if you're more flexible, you can bring your knees, your sorry, your elbows down onto mat just for the last sort of minute and a half. Holding three more breaths. So we've held there for 
for about three minutes. So what you want to do now is just to go into the swan posture. Walk your left foot to the outside of your right wrist. So you can see it quite nicely in the video. Now on the opposite side. Gently what I want to do is almost square my shin to the top of the mat and walk my right thigh back. And remember, if your left cheekbone doesn't reach the floor or the mat, I should say, place a cushion under your left butt, your left cheekbone. Gently slide your left thigh back. And you can stay here for two minutes. Or come down into this sleeping swan when you bring your elbows and your forehead down onto the mat. Otherwise, use a cushion under your elbows and under your head on the mat. So we're going to stay here for two minutes before I come up to do the swan so this is sleeping swan just breathing into this So once you've been there for two minutes, maybe you've been the sleeping swan, you can come back to your normal swan, just walk your hands out in front of you, breathing into this. Lifting your heart center. Just holding for the last minute. Just finishing there. Hmm, one, lower the yoga kitty cat. Gently bend your right knee, and you just want to gently maybe bring your right foot closer towards your right thigh. Gently bend your knee, and you can either flex the foot or just have a neutral foot, whichever you prefer. Draw the knee in towards you. We're going to hold for at least a minute.
and very gently just releasing that knee down very slowly we find a tense stretch there coming into balasana bring your knees together you might want to have a double mat for doing all these postures and gently coming down into balasana bring your forehead onto the mat relax your arms and we're just going to take six to eight slow breaths in And very gently come out. So I'm going to do one called the frog. We won't hold it too long. Um, usually you sort of go about the width of your mat, but I'm just going to come forward and show you so you can see. So you walk your, your knees out. And have your ankle below your knee. So ankles are below your knees, and then you almost push back. You bring your elbows down onto the mat and relax down over. So we're going to stay here. Stay here for two to three minutes. So relaxing down. If that's too much, just bring your elbows onto the mat, lift up, and we just stay here. So you feel the longer you stay, the more it releases. So your ankles are below your knee, you walk your feet out slightly. So this is called the frog. It works deeply with your inner knee, so don't do this if you've got knee injuries. Rather skip this one. Works deeply in your inner thigh groin area. The longer you hold it, the more you'll release.
So gently come up. So that was for about three minutes. You'll feel how it really works so deeply in your inner knee, in your inner groin area. So again, just gently coming back into Balasana. Bring your knees together, forehead on the mat. Arms down the side of your body. And gently coming up. So I'm going to show you two ways of working with your, just to finish off we're going to do two more postures on each side. So if you're a beginner and you have knee injuries it's better for you to stretch your hip flexors uh, and the front of your thigh, your quads this way. So if you're a beginner I suggest you just gently come to lie down on the mat Bring your left elbow down and then gently hug your right, place your right hand around your right ankle, draw the knee in and relax in this position for three minutes and then you repeat on the opposite side where you draw the knee in and hold for three minutes. So that's the beginner quad. If you've been doing yoga for longer, then we just gently come down onto the mat. Come to one side so that your ankle comes down on the mat. So walking your right foot off to the side. You can place a cushion or a bolster under your right knee. If your knee's up like that or down like that, put a cushion or a bolster. Otherwise, if your knee comes down onto the mat, that's perfect. You can now with your palms facing up or bring your arms above your head, whichever you prefer. So we're going to stay here for at least three minutes. Okay, the longer you stay here, the more you'll feel it. So just breathing into this.
but we've laid there for, I think it's almost four minutes or five minutes. So we just gently repeat on the opposite side. So gently coming up, straighten your right leg, bend your left knee, make sure your left ankle's on the mat so it's not too sore. Gently come down again. If you knee something, place a cushion or block under. Gently relaxing down into this position. So again, you want to stay either three to five minutes. Totally relaxing, bring your arms above your head or shoulder height or into Robocop or down to the side, whichever you prefer. And just relax into this position. So well done ladies, so this is the last uh, posture we're doing. So we've had a really deep hip opening, releasing, stretching your inner groin, your hamstrings. So once you've held there for either three to five minutes, just gently walk your foot up or if you do the beginner posture, just gently come to lie on your back. So if you, your lower back is maybe tight or sore after this, just gently hug your knees into your chest, arms around your knees, 
Line head around each other, really draw the knees and taking a few breaks here. just to finish off with, um, you can either hug the knees and or do baby pose to release the lower back. Bring your hands onto the ball of your foot and you draw your feet down towards you, arms on the inside of your knees, push up through your heels, try and work your coccyx down towards the mat. Gently drawing your feet down, pushing up through your heels. So it's a two-way movement, you draw your feet down and pushing up through the heels and try to work your coccyx down towards the mat. We're just going to hold for six to eight breaths. And gently release. Well done, ladies. Thank you for joining me for my yin yoga class. And gently coming up. Coming to sit in a cross seated position. Gently bring your hands together in a prayer position and namaste. Thank you for joining me for my second yin yoga class. Have a, I hope you're all having a wonderful weekend. Lots of love. And I'll follow up with some more yoga to send to you for next week. Take care. Remember when you come out of or up from the mat, come up very slowly and mindfully.